lads and ladies and welcome to this now today it is south end united versus fleetwood town now south end haven't had a great start whatsoever they've lost all six games and they parted company with kevin bond in the week and they're on search for a new manager the problem is when a team tends to get a new manager they tend to get a little bounce and which lifts them up the table Hopefully that will happen today. South End is not as nice away day. I love the ground, old school ground, and I really would like to see them stay up again this year. Um, it's a long away day. It's about 580 mile round trip. It's about 10 past five now, so commitment to the cause by every Fleetwood fan going. They've got some good play, likes of Heim, um, Simon Cox. Um, the goal is really, really good. I'm just hoping we can win today. My score prediction, I'm going to go for... 2-0 Fleetwood, hopefully keep a clean sheet. Now this is my last match day vlog for a couple of weeks, so don't worry, they will be back in two weeks time. Let's get to Roots Hall, let's hopefully Fleetwood get three points, and come on Fleetwood. Here's what happened last week. <laughs> South End United, we're with Roy. Roy, how do you think today's game will go? Well, first of all, the bloody weather's cracking, isn't it? Yeah. I think we'll get we'll get two nil today. We've got to do the way the South End are playing, the way we're playing. I think it's two nil, certainly. Their manager in the week uh, got sacked. Do you think it was an unjustified decision? Obviously, he kept them up last year. However, six straight defeats leaves Gary Waddock as assistant manager in charge today. Well, it's the norm now, isn't it? You get five or six games behind you, and you haven't got a win. That's it. You're out the door. Unfortunately, he's gone, hasn't he? So they're going to have to try some new new uh, management ship in it and see how they get on. But that's the best thing for us because they're unsettled at the moment. Now that, that's why I think we'll win two 0 today. And finally, a great win last weekend. Uh, Paddy Madden, Peter Clark getting the goals in the playoffs. Happy signs for yeah, you. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, this year, you know, we're right on top this year. Joby's got it. The team really gone. We've got some excellent players this year, so we should be where we are for the rest of the season I hope. Well thank you Roy and hopefully a good win for Fleetwood today. Oh, a South End vlogger, what's your thoughts on today's game mate? We need a win basically mate, six games, six losses, the, the atmosphere around here has been so different since last season, last game of the season we beat Sunderland 2-1, the atmosphere, we appointed Keva Bond, we thought we were going to go places with this, this could be our year to go up potentially. Yeah. But. It's just been the complete opposite. The way we play football is so different to the way we anticipated. We want to play like Premier League style football, but we don't have the quality of players almost. Um, if you got a draw, it's called sometimes stopping the rot. Mm. But as a football fan, I'd love to come here, get three points, move up the table. But it's not always as sweet as you may think. What's your score prediction, mate? Oh, I think we can nick this by one goal. I'm going to say two-one South End. And quickly, what's your channel called to give it a shout out? Diversity, D1 Versity, South End Vlogger, do gaming for fun. Check it out, guys. Go and check that out. Thank you, mate, and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you, mate. With another South End Vlogger, Liam, thoughts on today's game, mate? Um, obviously, a big game. Uh, Kevin Bond's gone now, uh, looking for a new manager. Uh, I think really lively. A lot of fans looking forward to this one. Um, obviously, you're in top form at the moment. Uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Be happy with a point, but three points would be even better for us. Manager wise, you're looking into it. For me, I think Sol Campbell would be a decent fit. Obviously, went into struggling Macclesfield last year, kept them up. Maybe someone like Gary Rowett or Phil Parkinson, who would be your ideal man? Um, I think uh, Adam Barrett's obviously leading man at the moment for a job, but Sol Campbell and uh, Ian Holloway, I was yeah. at the uh, EFL Quest launch and uh, I was speaking to him then and he said he wouldn't go into a managerial job but I feel like he, if he had the opportunity to try and bring the club back up to what it was yeah. uh, I think he'd love to take the opportunity And score prediction mate? Uh, I'm saying 2-1, going to be optimistic uh, hopefully we can try and get the win And just quickly, what's your channel called if you want to go and plug it? Uh, Shrimpers TV, uh, on the road to 100 subscribers just trying to build it up Yeah. Top man, good Sorry. luck, thank Cheers, you mate, mate. Are you doing? 
So we're with Brace Ground Upper. Brace, score prediction for today's game, mate. One all. And manager sacked. Yeah. Thoughts on that? Well, deserved to go really because lost momentum and lost the dressing room really. But don't know who we're going to get in next. But I'd prefer an experienced manager rather than a former player. Well, thank you for that. And just finally, what's your channel called, mate? Brace Ground Upper. Everyone go and subscribe to that. Thank you, mate. Top man Thanks, up man. the cards. Thanks. Top man. A couple of South End fans. Matthew, score prediction, mate. I'm gonna try and stay positive and say a two-one South End. Who do you want for manager? Not too sure about a manager, but I just want us to try and gradually win and gain yeah. some points. Well, thank you very much. And Kieran, score prediction, mate. Uh, one 0 I reckon today. And who do you want for manager? Well, a lot of people are talking about Adam Barrett because he's such a club legend, yeah. but. Um, after the last time with Chris Powell, I'm not sure who to get yeah. in, but as long as someone with experience can get us out of this mess, I don't really care. So. And finally, lads, do you think you'll stay up? Uh, after last season, yeah. And Kieran? Depends who we bring in, yeah. to be honest. Well, fair enough, lads. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a good season. You too. Thank you, mate. Top man, thank you very much for that. So, yeah, have you been? It's a Like 
point of the season and not kick start them a disappointing way but loads of positive to take please for them see thanks for watching today's video give me 100 likes today and i'll see you in the next one